welcome back to my channel we're gonna do a car vlog right here in town I just thought it would be fun I actually have the car I don't know if you can tell by the lighting maybe not it's around 708 uh, so that the sun's getting ready to go down and it is today is Wednesday and it is happy hour at Starbucks now I just realized this very second so I'm, I'm gonna apologize for the shaking because the way the mount is like unless I hold the camera, which I'm not going to do because I need to concentrate on the road. Um, it'll just shake a little, so I apologize about that. But I realize I don't know what happy hour is. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's like buy one, get one free. Sometimes it's specific, like buy one, get one free latte, buy one, get one free frappuccino. Um, I'm not really sure what today's deal is, so I have to um, go look. Actually, I'm going to probably have to take you off there and go look. So hang on. Well, you know what I realized I can't look right now? I'm driving. So when we get to Starbucks, I'll take you down. Um, <laughs> Rolla, home of the world famous roundabouts. Actually, I, as, as we traveled recently, I will tell you that I found that there was a lot more roundabouts than I ever thought there were. I actually never heard about them when we were growing up. Sort of an odd thing. Um, in New Jersey, uh, there's a lot of places that have no left turns, basically you go over to the right so that you can cut across instead of making a left. I think I think they did a study that found that most accidents were when somebody was trying to make a left turn. So that's why that is. But um, in Rolla, we actually have one, two, three... I think now we have four roundabouts, and that, and the town is geographically not that big. I mean, it's big. It's a city. It's a ca it's the county seat and everything, but it's not that big that it needs four roundabouts. Um, anyway, I just thought it'd be fun to hang out. I got a message from Sarah Jane from Chic on the Cheap that showed me that the Dollar General had this really cute white pumpkin that said Hocus Pocus on it, so I'm going to head to the fancy dollar general the one that i got that nice tablecloth from that you guys have been asking about it was a new dollar general that just opened in town it's the third one we have so we have three four roundabouts and three dollar generals um so maybe the town is pretty big <laughs> but um it has an expanded home section which the other two dollar generals have some home things but nothing like this new one at all so um we're gonna go run over there and check out the store is a little bigger. It's not just the home section that's expanded. It's a little bigger geographically, or you know, square footage wise, I guess I should say, than the other two. Um, so we'll see. And I thought I would bring you along since it's been so long since we just hung out, I feel like. Um, ever since, and I know we live streamed after this because I don't want like, I'm not the kind of person who really succumbs to fear, especially when a fear monger is trying to make you afraid. My big thing is always, like, stand against it. Don't let them know that they broke you. Da-da-da-da-da. But I have been apprehensively, cautiously, cautiously apprehensive to um, not be live streaming so much. So that, is there a long line at Starbucks? It must be happy hour. Um, that's why we really haven't li done a live stream in a long time. That and Jimmy's new schedule but um, definitely the live stream portion. So hang on, I'll be right back on a super sit stop. So it turns out happy hours tomorrow. <laughs> I did get a text message and now that I realized it was the first text message and they usually let you know a day ahead of time. But we'll be back here tomorrow because I actually am on a star thing where if you come two days, you get tw two days in a row, you get 25 stars. If you come three days in a row, you get 75 stars. And it's not a huge deal, but I did go yesterday on my way home uh, before we left Springfield and because I had the car tonight I was like oh I want to go to Starbucks then when I got the thing about happy hour I thought it was like faded to go to Starbucks but it's okay I can just come back tomorrow so I'll just have to have my car again we'll see what happens but um, I am doing a exciting mystery collaboration with Sarah Jane from Chic on the Cheap I'm so excited about it it is going to be on Friday the 13th. Um, Lord willing that no, you know, barring any incidences or whatever. So um, 
that's where we're scheduled. We're, we're hoping that it'll be for then. So I was going to just run to the Dollar Tree to get one more supply. Because as, you know, a lot of times you, you do a plan and then you start to do it. You're like, you know, start the execution. You're like, you know, this would be better than that. Um, as, you know, you get it figured out. So you just occasionally have to run to the store for a few new items. So that's what I did yesterday. I picked up some things for it. And today I might just go back and get one thing that I don't know for sure if I need or if they're gonna have. So I'm gonna try it. I just figured I'd grab it. Sometimes when I get into the DIYs, it's hard for me to like stop those videos where I have like to wait for glue to dry or paint to dry are the worst. <laughs> A lot of times, like when we just did those, all the autumn DIYs, we did three videos with pastel pinks. We did the gather pumpkins. We did the, um, the welcome sign and we did the elongated pumpkins um, all of those were painted on the same day because I just can't wait I'm gonna order hang on a second hi can I get a venti iced blonde flat white breve style with sugar-free cinnamon dolce Anything else for you? Do you happen to have any pumpkin muffins? Uh, I believe we do. <gasps> yeah, yeah, we sure do. Oh, can I have one of those, please? It was like that warmed up. Mmm, nah, that's okay. I think I'm gonna save it for later. All right. Thank you, sweetheart. 1021, I'll see up here at the window. Thank you. Oh, I just turned you off. Um, so that's pumpkin muffins. Last night the lady was like, we haven't had those in like three weeks. I actually didn't have one this year. I actually didn't have one last year either. But I think I'm going to have one tonight. But not now. I'm going to wait till I get home. Um, I'll have it after my Hi, dinner treat. Welcome to Starbucks. What can you start a today? Can she? I take all the time you need them here if you have any questions. Okay, she can get up there. I wasn't sure if she didn't have enough room. My car's kind of long. So anyhow, so... Um, Oh, so I'm going to run to the Dollar General, and then I'm going to run to the Dollar Tree on the way home, and then I'm, or if I have time, and then I'm going to, what am I going to do after that? Go home and play HQ with mom. So I have about 44 minutes to do all that. That includes finishing here at Starbucks. <laughs> oh well, we can do it. Here's the thing, I wanted to get Starbucks first, because that is the time that I can't control. I can control, pretty much control how much time I spend in the Dollar General and the Dollar Tree. You know, that that's in my hands. Uh, I mostly can control it unless you're just online. But the shopping portion I can control. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shut you off for a minute or so. I'm going to pay for my coffee because it's on the app. And, um, and then I'll get back to you. By the way, I have, um, I got some Starbucks gift cards as rewards for I do so many of these like online app things where you can like collect points I want to say it was the survey site perhaps it was like survey monkey yeah I, I don't remember but anyway so I was uh, I have Starbucks uh, gift cards which is great because you can still earn gift cards are just like cash at Starbucks you can still earn your stars and points with all of your achievements so it's like getting free coffee and then getting free coffee for buying free coffee that works even better <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with the star points at the at if you don't like Starbucks or if you don't like coffee first of all if you don't like coffee Starbucks has lots of non coffee options in fact, they're very famous for the tea, uh, the tea vana tea that they have, all of the iced teas, the blended fruit teas and stuff. But they also have like cream frappuccinos and chocolate frappuccinos. They're called cream frappuccinos because they don't have any coffee in them. They're all almost like shakes and they're vanilla bean. When I, before I was diabetic, I used to be like, yes, can I just have one of those please? Um, because it's like a real milk kind of, real ice cream vanilla bean, oh, so good. But, um, but they also have food and baked goods and stuff. They have outrageous sandwiches. But anyway, I'm done. I must be hungry. <coughs> I 
I'm gonna pick you back up again when I'm ready to leave. I'll hook you back up on the thing and you know, then we'll get to it. So now you're gonna be really crooked, but a little bit more stable. We'll figure that one out. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure that this is good. I know, they always make it good. Mm-hmm. I've mentioned this before as I vlogged with Starbucks. I really want to thank the combination of baristas that helped me build my favorite drink. Um, I had one person suggest Breve. I had one person suggest the Cinnamon Dolce. I really didn't even know it was, and I'm not recording. Hi. So that's not really better. Um, I was just talking to you like a whole bunch, and you weren't even on, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I was just saying that you'll have to see Rolla crooked and shaking because apparently we're still shaking and it's crooked. But um, I was saying that I love living here. Sorry, I totally dropped you. <laughs> this thing is aggravating me. <laughs> so, when I do my cross... This is what it, it's bent up looking like. But when I did my cross-country trips, when I do my road trips to and from Texas, I actually put this here. That's how you guys always talk to you. That's how I leave the GPS, so I can see it. I like my GPS to sit right above the rearview mirror, so it doesn't take away from my vision of the road so you know I mean if I'm checking out the GPS I can always look at what's behind me and that kind of stuff but it is all bent out of shape I have to fix it and I was clipped there and then you came off and you were bouncing and too much and I I'm gonna run into the Dollar General I see if I'll film anything for you guys but now it's gotten to the point where it's like 730 um, but I will uh, take you with me let's go let's go into the Dollar General shall we I could not believe all of the Christmas stuff. You guys, look at these bows. Well, maybe I shouldn't show them to you because we might buy them. Uh-oh. Now I think we're going to buy them. Uh, look at all of this Christmas stuff. Look at all of these dollar ornaments. O-M-G. They're just one nicer than the next. Um, they didn't have any J's or H's, so womp womp, but they look really cute. Oh, this one that says snow is really cute, but this one that says hope is even cuter. I just can't. I just can't. Yeah, you know, I have to get that. <laughs> these little doors, these front doors are so darling. Um... I got two white ones, but I meant to grab a red one instead. Well, why don't you guys just wait and see the hole? How's that? Halloween. I love those jars. They're so spooky. And I love that the little boxes have feet. Towels are really, really cute. Baskets, bowls. I love the towels. You get two towels, really nice terry cloth towels for $4. And one of them is embroidered. And the other one is coordinating. Just like the ones for Autumn. And then, of course, you can get the cheap microfiber ones. Look. This guy is $15, and he is amazing. Tons of costumes and accessories. And, oh, I need these boxes. This is three different size wooden crates. They're $4, $6, and $9, if memory serves. And this is the little one for $4, and it's still lovely and huge. And this metal sort of trough-looking thing, it's two metal pumpkins with like a connected wire to make it like a basket, was $10. So if you go on coupon day, which is today, I might go back and see what happens. Um, and then, of course, their beautiful florals that they have. But this ottoman... So big, so cute, $18. And then, of course, their regular farmhouse stuff. This store, as I've mentioned before, has got an expanded home section, so it may have more than you've seen in your stores before. But definitely look around and see. And also, you can shop on dollargeneral.com for many of their items. The signs are just so beautiful and so farmhouse. I love this one. Excuse me. 
that is actually a three-dimensional worry less that is raised up off of the board tons of storage baskets wicker metal plastic you name it you want to store something you got the opportunity rugs dish towels these are absolutely beautiful dish towels then they have napkins and this is the section where I got the tablecloth last time okay so it is just basically with all of the hand towels and kitchen towels and such but I'm sorry you can't see what I'm showing you <laughs> and here they have the tablecloths in beige buffalo check and this one is navy buffalo check and then of course coordinating striped placemats lots of beautiful things I didn't know if you guys knew that there was a dollar section at Dollar General all of those this is the whole dollar section and all of those mason jar soaps a dollar each so one of the best things about living here is that people are so nice but one of the worst parts about living here is when you have no time to talk you want to be polite obviously well i i'm also was very interested in this lovely lady's story but um <laughs> it was just i was like huh, trying to get out of the store <laughs> But what I did was I decided not to go to Dollar Tree tonight. Um, forgive the darkness, but it if you go in, that's the thing about shopping around the seven o'clock hour, is you go in at 7.30 and you're good and you come out at eight o'clock and you're not so good. <laughs> um, it's pitch black out. So I am headed home they have the best little pie shop here in town and I'm not I'm not trying to be biased um, it really just is um, ever since I first visited here it has just been some place that I like to do for like really super special occasions or like when company comes we're like oh you have to go to slice a pie well it is this little teeny tiny hole in the wall is the only way I can describe it I really it really is the only way I can describe it it is at the end of an ancient strip mall <laughs> I feel like it's been there since the 50s but I don't quote me on that but that's what it looks like and they used to be next to a dry cleaner slash laundry mat and then since the dry cleaner laundry mat has uh, gone out of business so I don't know if the person who owned the strip mall is just selling or what the story is but the slice of pie, and for those of you, my family and friends, sorry you guys can't see me, but for those of you who are my family and friends who have actually been here to the slice of pie, you'll know that it's like a teeny tiny place. They're expanding, and it was funny because the store that they're going to was a craft store, but it was really like a sewing, I don't know, a higher end, if you wanted to learn how to do felting wool and stuff you know or uh, fancy quilting like not like normal quilting <laughs> just fancy quilting they had other stuff I mean don't get me wrong but um, that is like was the store for it so I had never gone to it um, honestly I we were a little like cash poor for a really long time and just it's just to since very recently that we're not anymore um, Fortunately, knock on wood and glass and whatever I have here and praise Jesus and God and all the things But now that I have money they're closed and it's weird that that stuff kind of happens like that But you know guys, I'm a very big proponent of like if I'm supposed to have it Jesus will give me money and be there like I'll be there and want it and it'll be there and Jesus will give me money And he'll want me to have it so um, I know that that sounds like weird or a lame thing, but that is truly how I feel about it. Um, if I was meant to have it, it'll be there when I'm there and I'll have the money for it. So anyhow, the slice of pie is moving to that location, which is much bigger and it's much more, not centrally located because it's actually a little further away from downtown, but it's centrally located in the town a little bit more. Um, but it's on a main street, which I really appreciate now. So. And it doesn't have three parking spots. <laughs> Before it was so teeny tiny it had three parking spots. But I'm going to go now. I'm going to click on HQ because it is 8.02. And I want to make sure I get credit for playing tonight. 
and hopefully I'll actually be still in it by the time I get home um, and I can play with mom. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later.